Here's a design I see quite often, which is not necessarily wrong, but we could actually make it much more explicit easily by adapting two simple concepts. Obviously not every integer is a defect ID, but this fact is not expressed in the design. So we could easily accidentally pass any arbitrary integer and we would not notice it until we observe some unexpected behavior at runtime. To improve the design, I'm going to introduce a defect ID type and I'm going to adapt all the APIs accordingly. If you wonder why I'm using records here, then watch this video afterwards. The link is in the description below the video. Now that I use the defect ID type, I can also remove all violations of the dry principle by moving the validation of the defect ID value into its constructor. For that, unfortunately, I have to write the constructor and define the value property manually again. With these two changes, the code is already much more expressive, but one more smell is left. How do we express the absence of a valid defect ID? Obviously we could pass null, but this may result in null reference exceptions and doesn't allow us to express in the API itself whether null is valid or not. We could have a static property called none and assign minus one, but that's actually not much different from using null. My preferred solution is to use a concept from functional programming, the option type. I have already created a C-sharp implementation in one of the previous videos, so let's download this one from GitHub and use it in this tutorial as well. The link to this implementation you can find in the description below the video. Now I'm going to change the respective APIs again to explicitly define where the absence of a defect ID is valid. And with this, I'm also going to remove the redundant API documentation. And if you now want to learn more about value objects or the concept behind the option type, then I recommend to watch these two videos here.